My name is Dylan Lewis. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about the history of the English language. Now, many of you may think that the English we're used to speaking today is the same language they've been speaking since the dawn of its creation. That's completely wrong. English has gone through many different changes and many different styles throughout its history, you know, starting at Old English, moving to Middle English, uh, Modern English, which isn't really Modern English, it's Elizabethan or Shakespearean English, and then moving to Present Day English, which is the proper term for what we speak today. Now, in this example, I'm going to be reading you a little poem from each and every one of these transgressions in the English language. The first one's going to be Cadmian's Hymn, Moving on to Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Then we're going to read a little bit of William Shakespeare, and then we're going to end with Robert Frost. I hope you can pay attention to the differences along with the similarities. Let's begin. This is your example of Old English. This is Cadmian's hymn. Nu schulen herien, hefen riches wird, metudeus magda and his modifank. Where Wolderfadier swa he wondrous he was, ecce dricte orastalta. He erst schub ill de baronum, hebent herofa highly shipped. Va midon yerg machinas wird, ecce drichten after theada, verum falda freal mighty. Example of Middle English. This is a section from the Canterbury Tales. This is the general prologue. When that April with its shower sota, the drought of March hath pierced to the rota, and bathed every vena in switch liquor, of which virtu engendered his the floor. When Zephyrus ache with his sweet breath, its spirit hath in every halt in heath. The tender crop is in the young Gesona, hath in the ram his halibes chorus of rona. And smaller fullers mock in melodia, that sleep in all the nicht with open ear. And so pricketh him natura in he courages, the nay long and folk to go on pilgrimages. This is your example of Shakespearean English or Elizabethan English. This is Shakespeare's Sonnet 130. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a mistress go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, my, by heaven, I think my love is rare as any she bellied with false compare. This is your example of present day English, or what we're used to speaking today. This is Robert Frost's Fire and Ice. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if I had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Well, that concludes our lesson on the history of the English language for today. I hope this gave you a little introduction about where our language has come from and what it has grown into becoming. I hope also that you were able to identify the similarities as well as the differences. Now. In the next lesson, we'll study more in depth Old English, moving on to Middle English, Modern English, and Present Day English. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night.